Here's how to permanently delete apps on your iPhone. Now, let's say in this instance, I'm gonna delete the Facebook app. So what I'm gonna do is take my finger and I'm gonna tap and hold on the Facebook app here. And you can see it pops up with the remove app, or if I keep holding, it has that little minus symbol there. You can tap on that little minus sign and it says, do you wanna remove Facebook? All I need to do is hit delete app and then delete. And just like that, that app has been removed. However, keep in mind, there are some caveats on why you can't do that. So for instance, if I tap on the phone app at the bottom left here and hold, I can hit remove app, but now it doesn't give me the delete app option. It just says remove from home screen. The default Apple apps that Apple put on your iPhone are not eligible to be deleted from your phone. For instance, you can't delete that, you can tap on hold and delete your messages app, etc. So there are some core apps on your iPhone that you can't delete. But let's say this is a third party app that you still can't delete. Let's head into the settings. Let me go back out of here. And then scroll down and what we're gonna choose is screen time here. Tap on screen time. A lot of times screen time is the culprit that prevents you from deleting an app. So let's scroll down again. We're gonna tap on content and privacy restrictions. And if this is turned on, you'll be able to see here, it says iTunes and apps or purchases, allowed apps. Let's say I tap on allowed apps. You can see some of them might be turned off, which will essentially hide them and prevent you from being able to go in and then delete them. Another thing as well, is you can see iTunes and app store purchases. You can see the second option is deleting apps. So if I tap on that and this is set to don't allow, it will prevent you from deleting any apps in this content and privacy restrictions. Now, if you don't necessarily want to use this, you don't have to, you can always just turn this off completely and that will allow you to go in and remove any apps. Now, another easy way to do it is let's go all the way back here and tap on general and iPhone storage. The reason for this is it shows you every single app that's downloaded on your phone. So you can go in and delete any of these apps. For instance, I can tap on Instagram and just hit the delete app button if I wanted to delete it from my phone. However, again, keep in mind, I can't tap on photos. There's no delete option because you are required to have the photos app on your iPhone. You can remove it from your home screen, essentially putting it in the app library, but you can't delete it from your phone permanently as, as of right now. Basically, you have to have some core apps on your phone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.